Good evening. Now we begin tonight in Columbia as a Midlands mom is struggling to find proper care for her child. It's an ongoing issue for her. This comes in the middle of a national shortage of at home health care workers. News 19's Nate Stanley has her story and the ways businesses are trying to make it better tonight. Nate. Yeah, JR, the family I spoke to, well, they say that they've been on over five agencies wait lists hoping to get care. I also spoke with an at-home care business who tells me they're struggling to hire enough employees to keep up with the demand. It just puts a big strain on myself and her at the end of the day. Melissa and Irvin Landa say they've been given the runaround since last October when trying to find care for their two-year-old son, Liam. Liam suffers from a rare medical condition. Melissa says in the past 10 months, she's been the primary caregiver, turning their household with four of their children into a single income home. It's mentally and emotionally exhausting. We have to tag team each other of, you know, who's gonna sleep tonight and who's gonna sleep tomorrow night. Because he does, he does stop breathing during the middle of the night. He does have these turning blue spells and it's scary. She says even after being assigned a state caseworker, they aren't finding anyone that can help. She's calling all the way to Greenville. Um, she's asking around for you know other caseworkers if they've heard anything. Uh, we've reached out on social media. We've put out posts um, in Columbia surrounding area pages for any LPNs or RNs looking for work. The lack of workers follows a trend nationally, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, that predicts over 700,000 openings for home and personal caregivers in the next 10 years. Mary Young is the administrator at Charm Healthcare, an organization that provides at-home caregivers for elderly people and children. She says they're struggling to maintain the amount of employees necessary to meet the demand, with over 40 clients and around 30 employees. So if someone leaves our team, then we have to fill that slot first before we can grow to be able to take on new clients. And so that's the frustration of it all. She says they're trying everything to see a positive change in the business. We've started to offer retention bonuses to keep people on the team. We've aligned with different CNA schools um, to kind of attract the new grads. We're going into high schools for career days. We're participating in those kinds of things. A list of resources can be found on our website, WLTX.com. Reporting in studio, I'm Nate Stanley for News 19, WLTX.